All right, here they want us to graph these two. I'm just going to rewrite them. Um, so instead of y plus x is greater than or equal to 3, subtract x from both sides and get y is greater than or equal to 3 minus x. Right, if we subtract x, x from the left side, x cancels out. Subtract it from the right side, we get minus x. Same thing here, it's a little bit more complicated in the second one. We subtract 5x from both sides, cancels out. Negative 2y is greater than 10 minus 5x. And then the last step is divide everything by negative 2. Except that'll reverse the sign. So we get y is less than negative 5, right? 10 divided by negative 2 is negative 5, plus 5 halves, because negative 5 divided by negative 2 is a positive. So here, once I have that set up, I prefer to work in mx plus b format, or slope-intercept format. I set up my y and my x-axis. And I just, I quickly sketch these out because in one of them, right, we have 3 minus x. That means 3 is your intercept, 1, 2, 3, and minus x is your slope. So we go down 1 over 1. So here, y is greater than or equal to this. Um, that means we draw our line, shaded in because the line itself is included. Okay, rough sketch there. And y is greater than or equal to it, so we shade everything above it. Okay, the next thing is y is less than this other line. And the other line is just, it says negative 5 plus 5 halves. That. So negative 5 is the y-intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5. Right? 1, 2, 3, okay. That's your y-intercept. And the slope is plus 5 over 2 or plus 2 and a half. But I won't think it's 5 over 2 because that means it go up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 2. Up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and over 2. And this time, y is less than that. So I'm going to dot the line because it can't be a point on this line only below it. Right? So here we shade in this region below. And what they ask us next is state the coordinates of one point that satisfies the first inequality but does not satisfy the second. All that means is pick a point that satisfies the first, and the first is this red, right? This red greater than, right, y is greater than, so a point that's in the red region, but not in the blue region. That's all they're asking us. So I'm going to pick the point uh, right here. This point's right on the y-axis. It's easy to spot. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But you can pick any point in the red region that's not in the blue. And don't mess with points really close to the line. Otherwise, you have to plug them in to your inequality to test them.